guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to try to diagnose the vibrating motor issue that we have with the buggy. Now this thing kind of got stored away while we were working on the van, so truth be told, I haven't even taken it out of the neighborhood yet. Since last time you probably saw this thing, we were putting the side pods on it. Since then, threw a little Amazon wing on the back, did a little Bluetooth stereo up here. Yes, that is a closet rod. Threw some extra gauges in here. So you can see, voltmeter, and that also turns on the stereo and the amp. But the problem we've been having with this is when it's idling, motor is just vibrating like crazy. Now I've read a lot of stuff. Some people say it could be the tranny mounts. Uh, some people say it could be a bad spark plug. Some people say it could be gauges. So we're gonna start with the easy stuff and we are going to do the spark plug and the wires today. So let's fire this thing up and you'll see what I mean. And yes, timing is correct. I already got the plugs. So let it cool down for a minute, change out the plugs and wires, see where we're at. All right, got the motor cooled down. We're gonna be swapping it out. We're gonna be using, uh, I think these are like the middle of the road MP plugs. They got pretty good reviews. And we went with the original Bosch spark plugs. These are, let's see what they say on them. They just say R0, but this is what was recommended. Oh wait, W8CC. And I already went, I pre-gapped all these when I first got these. Gap was uh, 0.024. So 0.025, close enough. So let's get this changed out, see if anything changes. Okay, so whether this solves the problem or not, we're still going to go through and zip tie a few things together. We don't need the plug hitting the exhaust or anything like that. If it's not this, then we got to check the tranny. Could be the fluid. So, let's give it a shot. Well, obviously it wasn't that. So next, we're going to go underneath, check the tranny fluid. We'll go from there. guys as you can see we would have to label this as catastrophic transmission failure now what you just witnessed in those pictures 
that was the reverse gear. This thing always had a little bit of a problem going into reverse. It would be fine on flat ground. I couldn't back up up a hill or anything. Luckily, it's only like 1,300 pounds, so it's not a big deal. And it's not going to ruin us for the rest of the summer either. I'm still going to drive the thing. First through fourth work fine. Not an issue. Love to tell you that transmissions are a dime a dozen. In my case, I don't have IRS, independent rear suspension. I have a swing axle. They're more like a penny a dozen. So I'm going to jump on Marketplace, find one for sale, go grab it. Probably send it straight out to a tranny shop because I don't want to deal with the tranny. I don't know anything about them. Really have no desire to learn about them. Get a new tranny, we'll slap this thing in here. Probably in like a month or two. So guys, we'll get back to you when we get to that part. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Henny all stuck in his cage. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Ow, you little shitbag. That's why no one plays with you.